Welcome to this intermediate lesson. In today's lesson, we're going to learn about the third person singular. What is the third person singular? Put simply, it's just when you are talking about one person who is not yourself or a thing that is not yourself. For example, the pronoun would be he, she and it. The reason that we need to talk about the third person singular is because it changes the verb when we're talking in the present simple tense. What is the present simple tense? Well, when we're talking about things that we do every day, things that we usually do, sometimes, or even never do, we use the present simple. So we use it a lot when we're talking about routines, habits, and daily activities. When you use that tense, the verb generally doesn't change. It's called the infinitive. And often we can say it with to, for example, to go, to eat, to drink. But if the sentence is using he, she or it, then we must add an S to the end of the verb. For example, I go to work every day. I go to work every day. But if I'm to talk about somebody else, I would say he goes to work every day. He goes to work every day. Or another example, I live in London. I live in London. She lives in London. She lives in London. Both sentences have the same meaning, but you must add an S to the end of the verb. It must be added when you speak and also when you write. If you're not using the pronoun, for example, instead of saying he, I say my husband, I'm still talking about one person that isn't me and I still must add the S to the verb. So the sentence, he goes to work every day, would be read, my husband goes to work every day. Again, I must use the S. Instead of saying, she watches TV in the evening, if I was to say, my mother, I would still need to add the S. My mother watches TV in the evening. If you're to talk about an animal, an object, for example, a cat, again, it's just one cat. I must add the S to the end of the verb. The cat drinks its milk every day. The cat drinks its milk every day. So I must use the S on the end of the verb. In my experience, many people find this difficult. Not difficult to understand, but difficult to remember. Because it's something that English people just say naturally. But as a learner, you have to consciously remember that you're using a third person singular and remember to add the S. So how can you make sure that you remember? One way is to practice. What you can do is say sentences together in pairs so that you notice the difference. For example, I wake up at eight o'clock. She wakes up at eight o'clock. I have my shower in the morning. My husband has his shower in the evening. Saying the sentences together in pairs can try and help you remember to add the S where you need to. Perhaps as well, you could do some writing. Write down your daily activity, what you do every day, what time, whether you do it usually, sometimes, always, and then do the same thing for a family member, your husband, your son, your daughter, or a friend. And in that writing, make sure that you've always added an S where you've used a verb. Here's a spelling tip. Most verbs, you just have to add an S. But in some verbs, the spelling, you will need to add ES. For example, go. I go to work. She goes to work. The spelling of goes would be G-O-E-S. Another example would be I watch TV every evening. She watches TV every evening. Watches would be spelt W-A-T-C-H-E-S. So just remember these letters. O, H, X, 
S or double S, Z or double Z. If your verb ends with one of those letters, when you add the S, you must spell it E S. Also, if your verb ends with Y, for example, fly, you would spell flies F L I E S. So you take away the Y and replace it with I and then add E S. Sometimes it can be hard to work out if the third person singular is it. For example, I might say the sentence, my journey to work takes one hour. My journey to work takes one hour. The it in this sentence is not one word. It's a noun phrase, my journey to work. But my journey to work is not a person. So therefore, it can only be replaced with the pronoun it. So again, we must remember to add the S. It takes me an hour to get to work would be another way to say, my journey to work takes one hour. So with the third person singular, it might sound complicated, but really you just have to remember if you're talking about somebody else and it's not you and that person is singular, he, she or it, you must add an S to the verb. Just keep practicing and it will soon come naturally. Thanks again. See you next time.